हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई शिक्षा टुडे आर टॉपिक इज स्टैटिक एंड डायनेमिक इनिशियलाइजेशन इन जावा द वेरिएबल इज असाइंड अ वैल्यू इन एडवांस दिस वेरिएबल देन एक्स एज अ कॉन्स्टेंट व्हाट इट मींस दिस प्रोसेस यूजेस डायरेक्ट असाइनमेंट ऑफ अ वेरिएबल विथ डिफाइंड कॉन्स्टेंट द वेरिएबल is initialized during its declaration that is before the actual use in the programming logic let us see some examples in the next slide these are all examples of static initialization right int a is equal to 9 so while writing the code you are giving the value to the variable along with the data type so this is static initialization now what about dynamic initialization dynamic initialization the variable is assigned a value at the run time the value of this variable can be altered every time the program is being run let us see some examples suppose if you input the value of a and b as 2 and 2 so 2 plus 2 if you add what will happen in s while run time it will store what 4 suppose second time you run the program again it is asking you the value of a and b and you are giving 3 and 3 so this time again 3 and 3 would be added and be stored in s so this is actually what every time you run the program you change the value according to that s will be initialized so this is one kind of dynamic initialization in the next example you are entering the value of a and b suppose for the first time you enter 2 and 3 that is 2 to the power 3 it will give you 8.0 this will be stored during run time in c right so c is having what 8.0 next time when you run the program and when it when it asks for the value of a and b you give 2 and 2 so 2 to the power 2 would be 4 4.0 will be assigned to c while running the program so this is called dynamic initialization i hope you have understood the difference between static and dynamic initialization Thank you so much for watching this video keep learning from a shiksha and of course do like share and subscribe that will motivate me to give you some more good videos thank you so much